Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm here in this quaint little home that I've put together for this video. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a quaint little home. A, a, a quaint, quite quaint. <laughs> Does anyone even know what quaint means? Uh, let, let me know in the comments. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about some Ponytown house tips. Some, some little tricks and stuff like that that I've learned and sort of figured out by... You know, playing Ponytown a lot <laughs> and building a lot of homes for background gameplay footage and stuff like that. I've built a lot of homes. Um, you've made, you've, you've seen some of them. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing some secrets, not necessarily secrets, but some house tips, stuff like that. And the first thing I want to talk about is, since it's night, I'm going to talk about the torches because it's night, so that should be the first thing I should talk about. So the torches and other lighting things like the uh, the pumpkin, the jack little small jack o' lantern and stuff like that, you can hide these behind bookshelves behind uh crates you can even put them in the walls back here this is what this is personally my favorite because not every house is going to have like uh, boxes or bookshelves but they do uh always have this wall here and you can s just perfectly fit a torch there and it fits so perfect it's it's impossible to see and it only lights up during the night so it's perfect now something else i want to say is it's it's starting to get done so i need to hurry this up but if you spam uh multiple torches in one spot as you can see it gets way brighter so what you could do is you could hide like uh, put, not necessarily hide but you could place crates somewhere in the middle of the house and then just spam a bunch of torches in that one spot and it will eventually light your entire house from one single source all uh, like only during night so you don't have to worry about it being that, that bright during the day and stuff like that one thing i wanted something else i want to talk about with the torches is you can almost hide them in the uh the tables but they do peek out a little bit a little bit of the flame peeks out so something i would recommend doing something that could be kind of neat and i have seen stuff like this before people have made ovens before you could place some torches here you know and kind of simulate a little oven you know you could have somewhat of an oven and it would only light up during the night because well who uses an oven during the day right so the next thing I want to talk about is over here. It's this bench, this little bridge. It's a nice little bridge, but there's one problem. You fall right through it. So no one wants a bridge that you can fall right through. Obviously, this isn't very good. For some reason, it's still like you're inside the object, but you can't phase through the back of it, which is kind of kind of funny um but the fact that i'm even inside this like swimming inside the bench that's funny maybe you want to do something with that maybe you want to make like false floors and stuff like that you can totally do that with stuff like this and as you will learn here in a moment log slices now log slices actually i'll go ahead and talk about those the log slices they're they're a very interesting item because th there's something that i've never been able to figure out a good use for until I f randomly saw this on reddit where someone was using them like stepping stones they had them placed over a lake or a river or something like this and I was like oh yeah you can just do little stepping stones to get across that's such a genius idea why have I never thought of it well it's a good idea on paper but as soon as you try and step on it well you just phase right through it just like with the bench you just kind of go right through it you can swim into it from this side too which is a little bit odd but you can't I don't know. The whole bench thing is, is the weirdest part about, like, phasing through it. But you can phase through stuff like this. Maybe you want to create false floors. Maybe you can uh, stack these on top of each other and in, in, uh, in a way that kind of makes it look like, oh, yeah, there's nothing there's nothing there. Don't worry about it. I just have a, I just have a thing there, you know. See, this, this almost looks like a decorative floor. Like, I was just trying to decorate a floor or something like that, you know. As long as there's no bit of blue appearing and as long as you can't see any of the edges or something, you can totally trick someone into thinking this is a normal floor. They walk into it and they're like, ah, haha, I'm swimming on land. I'm swimming on land. You know, you can tr you can totally mess with people that way. You can you can you can trick them. So back to the bench. Uh, the bench, let me let me uh, talk about it real quick. Uh, you can't walk across it, so it's not very good of a bridge. But what if I told you there is a way for you to be able to walk across this bridge? To do it, you're going to have to grab it, move it, pick it up, whatever you want to do. And you're going to have to place it over a bit of water that is a bit like this. With basically no... Oh, <laughs> I, I fell up for that. Um, that is basically just one little slip of water there. And you can now walk across it. Wait, not right there. <laughs> that, was a bad, that was a bad example. <laughs> I didn't move it back far enough. That's my fault. Um, but now you can walk across it, even against the edge, as you can see, uh, because you can't normally fall in the water there. 
what I really hope uh, Ponytown does eventually is uh, allow these things or <laughs> I really hope that they allow these things to become full on bridges or just give us a bridge like a tool somewhere and maybe give us a bridge or two like in the main map. That would be really, really cool. Um, maybe a bridge reaching Pegasus Island, the island that's inside that giant lake. I call it Pegasus Island. I don't, there's no real official name for any of this stuff. But uh, this is a nice little bridge. Now you may be saying, well, that's not very, that's not very cool. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't look that good because because like what obviously it's not that big so it's not it's not really stretching over that big of a body of water so it's not that impressive well what I recommend doing is if you do this if Davey will be quiet for a moment I would recommend if you do this to get some bushes or small plants stuff like that and kind of hide the fact that there's not much going on here you can hide it in any kind of way you want um this probably is a little bit too too far to the edge but as you can see as long as you hide the ground and you can't tell how much is there water and kind of expand the water right there now now it kind of looks like oh that's part of part of a bigger body of water you know maybe it's doing something you know you can kind of trick people into thinking that that bridge is actually working properly and is actually helping you get over a bit of water that's probably about this big that's probably the most you're going to trick someone into thinking now you can line these up in any way you want and uh do all all sorts of cool things with them um i i, I love it that's one of my favorite things that i've learned to do is make little bridges i i just i just love it so much i don't know why but the next thing i want to teach you is about basic items not basic items but like stuff like the bushes the and the small rocks and a couple other things like the gifts and things like that now if you press shift enough times it will change back and forth if you press shift it has a chance like a like a 50 50 chance and in changing into a different object so let me zoom in as much as possible as you can see it is a it is simply a boulder like not a boulder but like a little rock with a little pebble next to it if i press shift it turns into a bigger pebble a bigger little rock if I press shift again it has a chance of changing but it doesn't it didn't change that time if I do it again it changes and it changes and it changes the same thing is is the case with the small plants now these actually are very hard to notice because all it's doing is kind of flipping it it's kind of rotating it so to speak now this is the closest we've ever gotten to rotatable furniture I really wish we could get rotatable furniture but this is the closest we got right now if you press shift or switch back and forth between the two objects it will eventually change uh, I recommend just using shift um, just don't spam shift because then you can accidentally activate sticky keys or whatever um, but yeah just press shift a couple times and it will change um, you, once you place it it might has a chance of changing now the large plant the large little bush it also changes slightly it also rotates a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why, <laughs> but it does. It's very hard to notice. It's not changing much. Um, you can try this out with all kinds of different objects. The medium trees don't don't change. There's not many. There's not much that changes, but some of it does change. Uh, if I go back over to the flowers, the flowers do change. See, it's got like a little heart shape. Now it's got like a five petals, uh, a little f four petal thing. Uh, and you can switch those back and forth same thing with the flower patches if you wanted a very specific kind of flower patch You can do that also by the way Flowers kind of look really cool inside of water. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it But uh, they look <laughs> I can get the right. Oh, I'm on flower patches. No wonder <laughs> uh, I think they look really good. Just don't just don't overuse it because then it kind of looks a little bit weird Or maybe you can mix it with the uh, the weird log slice thing and trick people into thinking it's part of land <laughs> The cool thing about this is even though I've put this there I still can't exactly tell when it turns into water because obviously I can stand on the first one But I can't stand on the second one. <laughs> I just I love that. I, I don't know why but uh, something I want to talk about here This is something that could eat away at your um, uh, House item furniture count there is a count um, I don't know exactly what the number is but there is a number of items that you can have in your house once you reach that number you can no longer have any more uh, if you want to learn how many that is let me know and, and, and maybe if I do another Ponytown house tip video I will include the uh, house count uh, whatever whatever that number is whatever that number should be called I call it house count I guess um, or furniture count I guess you should be called but my, one, one, one thing I really love doing and this does eat away at your furniture count I will admit um, is to put down some of these trees line them up over here in this little little nature kind of area get myself uh, the small pines and put them in the middle and I kind of I kind of messed up because these aren't very close to each other but if you do this you can kind of uh, trick not necessarily trick but like 
kind of disguise the wall and make it look like, oh, there's a forest in the background. You know, that kind of gives us a forest-like feel. If I would have moved things a little bit better, it would, it would look better, obviously. But as you can see, that kind of gives you the idea that, oh, this is supposed to be like a forest and it just stretches on and on and on. That's kind of like a, a background, so to speak. Now you can line up the entire wall with this. I would recommend uh, you don't do that because if you line the whole wall, you're not gonna be able to do much inside the main house because you're gonna eat away at that furniture count that I was talking about. Here we go. Okay, so the actual, now I, I, I'm really bad at this. I always forget which one's brick and which one's stone, but this one right here, this is stone right here that I'm standing on and this is brick now that I'm standing on. If you put stone around, uh, it can kind of give this, this feel that it's elevated, like everything's elevated. Everything on stone seems like it's higher than things that aren't on stone if that makes sense, because this little ledge kind of has a, a, a depth to it, kind of a thickness to it, so it's kind of like it goes up a little bit. So if you wanted to do something like, oh, this is up higher than this, then stone is a good way to do that. One more thing about the shovel that I really want to talk about is the, 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 the floor tile. It's, it's, I don't know why more people don't do this, and I don't know why I don't do this more, but if you create a, oof, oof, oof that was a mistake. <laughs> if you wanted to get some kind of design or pattern on your floor it's very easy to do that just kind of just make a checkered board with it just just go checkered with it you know and then uh mix it with stone uh or some other block not block <laughs> not some other block but you know what i mean some other floor tile and there you go you have like a nice little stone area this looks really good for like maybe a kitchen area or a storage area or something like that you know if you wanted to, i don't recommend doing this with uh the uh the water the, uh, the water i don't recommend doing this with the grass and dirt because it just it won't look that good um because of how the, the game just works it just it just ends up looking a little bit weird you could probably do it but it kind of ends up looking a little bit weird See what I mean? It ends up looking weird. Kind of, it kind of works, um, but it it's still it's still. I recommend just if you wanted to do that, just just put grass there or maybe a little bit of dirt here and there. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. That's the whole video here. This was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, so if you do want a sequel to this video, if you want me to share more ideas and kind of tips and little tricks and stuff like that, let me know uh, in the comments below, and I will do that. I actually have one or two more things, but. The video is like 16 minutes long now, so hopefully I can cut it down so it's not a really long video. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, share, do those wonderful things. Because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. But that's not all you get. That's not all you get. You also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, be wonderful.